The Indian Space Research Organization ISRO said in a statement that it has successfully completed the flight acceptance hot test of the CE-20 cryogenic engine that will power the cryogenic upper stage of the launch vehicle for the Chandrayaan-3 mission. The test was carried out at the ISRO Propulsion Complex at Mahindragiri in Tamil Nadu on 24th February, the Bangalore headquartered National Space Agency said. It was carried out for a planned duration of 25 seconds. All the propulsion parameters during the test were found satisfactory and closely matched with predictions, an ISRO statement said on Monday. The cryogenic engine will be further integrated with the propellant tanks, state structures and associated fluid lines to realise the fully integrated flight cryogenic stage, the Indian Space Research Organisation added. Earlier this year, Chandrayaan-3 lander successfully underwent EMI-EMC test at UR Rao Satellite Centre. ISRO had then called the test a major milestone in the realisation of the satellites. During the Chandrayaan-3 lander EMI-EC test, launcher compatibility, antenna polarisation of all RF systems, standalone auto-compatibility tests for orbital and powered descent mission phases, and lander and rover compatibility tests for post-landing mission phase were ensured, according to ISRO. EMI-EMC, that is Electromagnetic Interface or Electromagnetic Compatibility Test, is conducted for satellite missions to ensure the functionality of the satellite subsystems in the space environment and the compatibility with the expected electromagnetic levels. Chandrayaan-3 is a follow-on mission to Chandrayaan-2 to demonstrate end-to-end -end capability in safe landing and roving on the lunar surface. ISRO plans to launch the mission in June. It will be launched by Launch Vehicle Mark III from the Satish Dhawan Space Centre in Sri Harikota, Andhra Pradesh. The mission has three major modules, the Propulsion Module, Lander Module and a Rover. The mission's complexity calls for establishing radio frequency communication links between the modules. The Propulsion Module will carry the lander and rover configuration till 100km lunar orbit. The propulsion module has spectropolarimetry of habitable planet Earth payload to study the spectral and polarimetric measurements of Earth from the lunar orbit. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.